hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing well please excuse my sunglasses actually i should probably do this um yeah welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog um this is exciting day i'm going camping i'm gonna quickly insert um quick someone's a little off. prep yeah i've put the aircon on um i'm gonna insert a little prep that i done the other day um that I thought I'd just include and then we're gonna go and get the last little bits and then we'll be going camping so guys we are going camping um in two weeks just under two weeks and I've just brought I just thought I'd quickly do like a little prep with me of stuff that I've brought um I haven't got everything here with me right now but I have just gone to the shop so first things first is I'm gonna get I've bought some containers, these little um, six mini clip-on containers from B&M and they're just like this size, um, so perfect little size to just add like things that you only need small amounts of. So I have brought some new tea bags, some coffee, some sugar, just stuff like that which I'm going to need obviously whilst we're camping. First thing I'm going to do is pop some coffee into one of these containers. So I've just got the little container here and then I've just got, just brought this coffee um, from B&M. Sorry you can't see me, this angle's really bad, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I'm just going to put some of this coffee into this container. Just so, we only, obviously we're going for two days, so we only need like a small amount. So I don't want to take this big massive container, so I'm just going to pop a few coffee beans into here. I'd say it's just me and Dylan going, so there's not like a whole family. But I'd say that's enough, oh my god. Anyone else like love the smell of coffee, because I absolutely love it. <laughs> Is the coffee done? I think that's enough, maybe a little bit more. There we go, that's perfect. So that is one little container done. And then let's do the tea bags. So I brought these PG tips. Let me know down below if you're a PG tips, PG? PJ tips um, person or a Yorkshire tea. I do love a Yorkshire tea, which is very controversial, but I did buy PG tips today. And um, so yeah, I've just put quite a few tea bags in there because I feel like I'm gonna feel like, whilst I'm camping and being cozy, I'm gonna feel like tea rather than coffee. Coffee in the morning and then a few teas during the day. So yeah, that's the tea done. Honestly guys, I'm so excited for this camping. Like I've never been camping before. So I'm so excited. That's why I'm like really preparing everything. Um, so that's that done. And then I need some sugar. So I didn't actually buy any new sugar, so I'm just going to take some out of this jar I already have, again, into this little container. We haven't actually brought our tent yet. Um, we are just going to buy, I think we're getting one from Argos. But yeah, that is the sugar done. Just put a little bit in there. And I think that is everything for the containers right now. I might think of something else that I can put some stuff in there. Um, but at the minute, that is exactly what I wanted. Just a little, small little thing, small little containers to put my tea and coffee in so I'm ready. Also for the tea and coffee, which I brought earlier, I brought these in-home bargains. These are these cute little tea and coffee cups. I just love these. These are giving like camping vibes all together. They're just like these little, I think they're made of china. It's not plastic, but I don't think it's glass. Um, yeah, these are just going to be perfect for our tea and coffee. So I brought these. What else have I brought? Okay, I also brought this. I wasn't planning on drinking, like, when I'm camping. Like, but I saw this, which is a wine cooler sleeve. You can see. And it says, um, it's keeps it keeps the bottle cool up to... Okay, so it says, simply place the reusable wine cooler in the freezer for at least six hours. Once frozen, wrap it tightly around your wine bottle. Wait five minutes before use. Do not puncture. And apparently it's meant to keep your wine cool for 20 minutes. Okay, that's um, not what I thought. I thought it'd be a little bit longer than that. Um, but I'll still take this. I'm going to take like, one bottle of wine and maybe just have it on the first night. Because otherwise I don't think it's going to be 
cooler for much longer so i picked that up as well um and then yeah we we'll to get the tent we've got like a cutlery set um which i picked up from home bargains the other day um which we put away we've got two camping chairs which i'll show you um mine's pink um of course and oh dylan's is actually in the car i would have showed you that but he's got like a proper like a pillow one but mine's just a normal ordinary one um, and then what else do we have? We need to buy a little table. Uh, we've got the stove, we've got the gas. Yeah, so it is a couple weeks till we go, but I thought I'd vlog the little prep um, that we are doing before we go, because I am so excited. Like, I've never been so excited, and I was like, oh, let's go camping. Like, I've always wanted to do it. Dylan's done it, like, growing up, but I've never done it. Um, so yeah i'm super excited and it's actually like obviously we've had to pay for where we're going and the tent and stuff but once we've done that once like the tent all the stuff for the like the kit and stuff once we've done that now like we're going to make this like a regular thing that we're going to go camping so like different places see different places so yeah i'm super excited i can't wait but i will see you guys on the day of our camping trip as we've just come to Home Bargains, I've picked up a few bits for camping. Oh right, yeah, mum, we've got these ice lattes, Home Bargains, how much were they? 169. 169 and they're actually really nice. A bit cheaper than we're not um, to the usual places that we go. <laughs> we, know, we actually, yeah, we had a little sandwich Chef and that. Sandwich. All £5. £5, £2.50 each, cheap as bloody cheap. Yeah, so if you've got home bargains near you, check out their coffees. We never eat out cheaply, we always eat out <laughs> in nice places, but actually we changed our art and we're budgeting. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> We love it. Um, so yeah, picked up a few things. I've got batteries, a power bank, some mos mosquito bits because we are right near a lake, uh, toothpaste, some wipes, um, some ibuprofen, two flannels, some shower gel and some deodorant for Dylan um, and also some water because man, this was two pounds. That water really good cheaper than tesco so yeah that's the bits for now so guys i've been looking for some lights to put on the tent just to make it cozy um but everywhere we went they're so low which is good like that it's so low like charged but obviously i need them for tonight so i was like concerned they're not going to be charged for tonight so i've literally got the little <laughs> light out now in the sun because it is absolutely boiling today definitely going through like a heat wave in england which is going to be nice but i do think it's going to be quite hot in the tent but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um so yeah i've just picked up some lights hopefully they're going to charge in time for when it gets dark later on i'm going to keep them out in the sun all day today pretty much got everything now i think oh, oh down the lights are falling <laughs> We've pretty much got everything now. Um, we just need to go and do the food shop, which is what we're going to do before we head over there. But, um... Lights are, you need. Dylan will have lighters, surely. Oh! I'm going to go home now. I'm going to pack all my stuff, get it all sorted. And then, yeah, I'll show you everything. This is also, like... This is my first time ever camping, so whatever I'm doing now, it's all very, like, beginner vibes. Dylan has been camping before, but, like, not for years. Um, I have been on TikTok, like, got the little hacks and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along to see, you know, and if you guys have been camping, if anyone's out there, like, they've got some tips, because me and Dylan want to make it, like, a thing. Hopefully, I enjoy camping. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any tips, then make sure you leave them down below. But at the minute i will show you everything that i've like brought and stuff like some tips that i've read Sam, can i ask you a question mm. have you got a pop-up tent have not got a pop-up tent oh i don't have a pop-up <laughs> dylan likes doing the tent That's so good then. we've got a we've got five man tent a bigger tent just because we wanted a room for like all of our stuff but it is one that's going to take like i think it says like 20 minutes to build 
not build. Is that all? Yeah, yeah but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll dream. We'll see about that. But that is Dylan's department. I'm not doing anything to do with well, not going to help. I said to him, do you need my help? He said no. I might want your help no. now. So, yeah. I will obviously oh, vlog man. that when we put the tent up. Hopefully it goes up. Um, <laughs> otherwise we'll be coming home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've got everything now. It's just the food that we need to get later on. Can't forget the food. We can't Most forget the food. Thing. We are literally eating everything. Like we're not cheating. We're, we're eating everything camping. What, what so we're mean? not going out, we're not going out for dinner and stuff well, like no, that. no, you're going camping. <laughs> no, but there's a camp there's a camp restaurant there, do you know what I mean? Mm. You don't have to make your own yeah. food, but I want to do it properly, so yeah. Yeah. So guys, little hack. So we have actually bought these ice like we've bought loads of ice um thingies. But what I what I have done also is I saw on TikTok, I've literally filled these containers, which are just like lunchbox containers, with water, and now they're ice blocks. So I've got one there, and then I also got a few little ones, what I used for the coffee and the tea. So they're also ice blocks, and obviously like most houses you have them anyway. Uh, but we have also bought some of these, which are freezing now. Um, so yeah, that's a little hack. Guys, the car is looking very full. That's a mate for life, man. So guys, honestly, it's so hot. If you're in England right now, you'll know this weather is crazy. It's like 28 degrees, but we've just done the shop. This car is so full. These are our bags of food, and we've got another bag there. This is currently the car. The boot is completely full. This is all of our stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot, but we have got everything now uh all the food all the drink then i just gone in to get some a bottle of wine um and then we're done so yeah it's it's literally so hot right now but i think everything is ready to go and yeah we're gonna get on the road and then yeah it's about an hour's drive so not too far and then we will be there and we will unpack everything <laughs>
first ball. So guys, tent is up, as you can see. Fire's going. I've got my glass of wine. And yeah, I'll quickly show you around. So, we've got our food section here. So we've got a cool box here. This is all stuff that needs to be cool. We've got all the ice bags and stuff and the milk and the, just anything that needs to be cool in that one. And then also in this one. So we've got all that food, the meats and stuff like that. Then in here it is just dry foods that don't need to be kept um, cold. We've literally got so much food, it's ridiculous. We've got cookies, we've got marshmallows, we've got biscuits, we've got sweets, we've got crisps, literally everything. So we've definitely got enough food for the two nights. Um, and then over here we've got some water, um, more stuff that needs to be cool, and then other stuff. So we've got some cereal buns and stuff like that which don't need to be cool. I've just put these two lights up. We've got like a five man tent. Obviously there's only two of us but we just wanted a little bit more space. This is a black bed that I blew up which I've done quite a good job of to be honest. Um, Dennis says it's not big enough for both of us apparently so he might sleep on the floor. I think it is. We've got, we've got a duvet and I've got a sleeping bag. Yeah so these little lights, quite cool, light up. And I've just stuck two up there, like that. Do you know what I think, actually? I've just noticed there's a bug in here already. So I'm gonna actually thingy these so the bugs don't get in. Okay, um, and then over here, we've got some kitchen roll. This is the stuff I got from B&M, basically. I bought these cases as well so I'm gonna put my two brushes in there we haven't actually like emptied everything yet there's still stuff in the car like personal stuff like you know like clothes and stuff like that we haven't emptied that yet we just set the tent up set the table up the bed and then got the food out um, but yeah I've also got this stuff because we are right near a lake as I said I think so this is going to be a necessity. I think I'm going to put some on in a minute. A little speaker. Uh, and then I'll show you the table. It's our chairs. This is the stove. Barbecue. And then stuff in here. Cutlery, I've got that from B&M. And then just some tea and coffee. I don't know what that is, a kettle I think that is, it's a stove, yeah it's looking cute, these are little cups, obsessed with them, um, and then a big water as well, know what this is, oh that's what the one we got, cooking set, Amazon I think, so yeah, that is everything for now. Here we go guys, dinner's served. We've got halloumi, chicken and cheese burgers. And then I just brought some salad for the side. And then my wine. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. Dylan, she's cooking his as well. And I can't wait because I'm starving. So yeah, if you're wondering where any of this is from, B&M, no, Home Bargains. Most of it is from Home Bargains or B&M. Uh, home Bargains, a little utensil set. The gas stove, again, b and um, little picnic blanket. But yeah, honestly, B&M and Home Bargains are the places to shop for cheap but good stuff. Um, so yeah, just had dinner, it was lovely, cooked by Dylan. Um, and yeah, now we're just gonna chill. We've got games, we've got frisbees, we've got badminton, we've got loads to do. So I'm really excited about that. And tomorrow we're also going to the water sports, which is literally like on site. So I'm really excited about that because it's so hot. It's like 30 degrees this weekend, so it's perfect. So yeah, so far so good. So guys, it is now 
like an hour later since I last spoke to you. I've actually changed into my tracksuit. I did not think I would be wearing this tracksuit today because it has been so hot today I thought I'm going to be boiling even like when the sun goes but it's actually like a little bit chilly now so I'm probably going to end up putting this hoodie properly on as well but at the minute yeah I'm just really nice and cozy in the tracksuit I've just applied like loads of this because I'm just scared I've actually been bitten quite a lot recently from mis from mosquitoes um just because I've had my window open um, at home. So I must have mosquitoes like near where we live. But I've been applying this a lot. Um, still got my glass of wine, this little cup from B&M. Um, and we're gonna light the fire in a minute. It's starting to get a little bit dark. My fairy lights, I can't tell right now if they are actually gonna work. They kind of look like they've got some light going on, but obviously it's still quite light, so I can't work that out. Fingers crossed they do. <laughs> if not, then tomorrow night they'll definitely be um, there. Um, by the way, we got our tent, if anyone's going to wonder, we got our tent from... Oh my God, I told Dylan to put the bloody... Shut this up, because the bugs keep getting in. So I want this to be shut whilst we're not in there. This is our tent, by the way. I think I've shown you. Yeah, our, this is my cute little pink chair. Our tent is from Halfords, if anyone was wondering, and it's perfect size, perfect for two people, even probably three, but personally, like two, I think is great. Yeah, so we're here for two nights. We're staying in, it's a place near, well, it's like, 50 minutes from where we live um it's like a little campsite and it's in basically the outskirts of rye um which honestly is like really really nice it's also really busy which we did not expect but obviously it will be because it's some holidays so far so good obviously i don't know if i told you but this is my first time camping um so i don't even know how i'm gonna sleep tonight like this is all so new to me but so far i'm literally like loving it it's so cozy there's something about just having like a tent having like i don't know just being outdoors obviously the weather's been really nice which has been lovely as well um yeah i'm just really cozy right now <laughs> but i just hope that i can sleep i will update you guys tomorrow if i do sleep because i've never stayed in a tent in my whole entire life so that'll be interesting but I will keep you updated on that tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna, obviously we had dinner. That was really, really nice. We've brought so many snacks. So I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea in a little bit and I'm gonna have some biscuits. That is like my Roman empire. You know, like people have their Roman empires. Mine is like right here, right now, a cozy cup of tea with my fairy lights, hopefully and some biscuits like that is heaven to me so i can't wait to have a cup of tea and i was like dylan how are we gonna do it and he was like i've got a kettle it's like oh my god brilliant i'm so glad i'm very lucky to have dylan because he's kind of he has kind of done all the prep for this camping trip because i would have no idea i probably would have come here with just a tent guys they're working they've literally just turned on oh my god i'm so excited
So guys, we've got bacon, raspberries, and pancakes. Mm -mm. Guys, we're all ready to go. Water sports, but it's raining. Literally been sunning all day. Congrats, I've got a little fun fair going on here. We've got some live singers, ice cream. Yeah, it's cute. So guys, what part was an absolute no go. We're off to the arcades now. It is sunny now, but it literally chucked it down, uh, so we didn't end up doing it. But we're off to the arcades, aircon on in the car. And yeah, I love an arcade, so I'm excited. Sorry guys, mum rang. I actually brought a new game. We bought this. When we was in Dim Church, we bought quite a few games. We was playing um, Water Frisbee. We also bought um badminton thing, but I'm not very good at it, I'm not gonna lie. This, I think I'll be quite good at. It is the like Ringo um, set. So obviously you put these in the ground and then you have to try and these are all worth different points and then the, you have to try and put the hoops into the thingy. So I think I'm going to be quite good at this. So we're going to play a game of that. We did also bring Monopoly. You guys probably know that I love Monopoly. We've got sausage pasta tonight for dinner, which I'm making. Uh, Dylan made the chicken burgers yesterday. I'm going to make the sausage, sausage, sausage pasta because I think I'm quite good at making sausage, sausage pasta. So guys, I'm not sure if uh, I have shown this on the vlog yet, but this is the second book to the series that I've been reading. I read the first one and it was really, really good. Don't get me wrong. It took me quite a while to get into, but like halfway through, I'd say, I really got into it. And I'm only like that much through this one. And I'm already, like, already obsessed. I think it's because obviously... Like, I know the characters a bit more now. And I'm really, like, involved and invested in all the characters. Like, even, like, I don't want to give it away, but, like, even, like, the bad characters. If you know, you know. Or he seems like a bad character, but I don't think he is. I'm invested. So, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of this one. But the first book was a hit, so I'm really excited to read this. And I'm not a girl that likes, you know supernatural things i'm more of like a realistic kind of like book reader but this is actually really really good morning guys it's our last day slept like a baby last night just had some breakfast now we're just packing up but honestly it's been like the most wholesome weekend ever i've loved it so guys we are now home i've actually 
I've got a red nose and I've got like brown slash red shoulders where it was boiling yesterday and I didn't actually bring sun cream. I did bring SPF 50 like moisturiser which I did end up putting on my shoulders but there was already burnt. Anyway we are now home honestly like I've had such a good weekend I think I have said this in the vlog like it's been so wholesome like so nice so quiet so chilled like I've loved it and I cannot wait to like do that again like go camping and stuff it's just it's obviously my first time ever like sleeping in a tent which might seem mad but I just never done it like growing up I was always quite I was always quite scared of like things like that never really stayed out as a child um I always got homesick uh so now I'm living like my childhood camping life now and I'm loving it so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us um, camping. I'm going to do these more often. And hopefully the more I do, the better we get at it. The better, like, I don't know, just everything. But to be fair, considering it was our first, like, well, it's not Dylan's first rodeo. But it was my first rodeo. I think it went really well. Like, nothing major. I'm trying to think if there was anything that kind of, like, we was like, shit. Not really. I mean, we didn't realise we actually paid for electric. Like, on the campsite which we didn't actually have like the adapter we didn't realize we paid for that the electric because everything on the outside the people that paid for electric were on the outside and the people that didn't pay for electric were just like in the middle of the camp but i was quite glad we was on the outside but obviously we didn't actually make use of the electric but next time um dylan has like an adapter that plugs into it so we will have electric but i feel like we've done it more more camping because we literally had no electric so um yeah that's the only thing maybe next time we'll think of if we want to obviously have electric then we'll bring the right like adapter for that the food like honestly we had such lovely food um the campsite was really good the facilities were good but yeah i've had a lovely time and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye